What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel side, do you enjoy my content? You can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general for reading for sign of Sagittarius. This can resonate if you have Sag any aspects of your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Haven, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, high priestess throw five. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Okay, so this is for Sign of Sag for October of 2022. This can resonate if you have Sag any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, and Jupiter charts. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, and Jupiter charts. For additional message or messages. Love you guys. Spare messages you have for Sage. I'm going to go down to weekly readings for the signs just to let everybody know. Um, just let everybody know. Spare messages you have for Sage. And thanks for all the shares of my videos very publicly. I very much appreciate that, you guys. Single mama, two kids, so it really helps support a single mama. Even though I don't have primary custody of them right now. Um, it's still, you know, I still love my kids and, um, I still single mom and two kids, just saying. Okay, so Bayer, Cosmic Egg. I did receive one channel message as I was, um, meditating on your energy for October 2022. I heard, uh, the Great Awakening is what I heard. And that would make sense with the Cosmic Egg energy. The Great Awakening. So you're having a Great Awakening about something that's causing universal change energy. You have Fair Man and Unicorn. You either already had the Great Awakening or you're about to. Or somebody you're connected to because the energy is coming reverse. So you plug it in how it resonates, Sag. Share messages you have, Sag Sagittarius. My little kitty cat boy over there is playing with my hair. Hair tie. He thinks it's the best thing since sliced cheese, he does. Stillness, number 33, could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 33, it could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number, number 33. Um, also, I feel this could go with the Great Awakening energy. Maybe you um, are, it's making you step back and um, look at a situation or situations. Maybe you're frozen in time for some of you guys. I didn't hear any of that. It's just intuitive take on this. Maybe for some, you're you're stepping back and you're like freeze framing and taking a closer look at a situation or situation, or you're about to, uh, with some kind of great awakening energy, possibly. For some, you can be dealing with the earth sign. If you are, they can have fourth Capricorn Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, haven, Jupiter charts, if you are. Bear. A parent and an earth sign child is about to become very significant in Sagittarius's life. For some, you are the parent. For some, you are the grandparent. For some, you are not the parent. A parent and an earth sign child is about to become very significant in a Sag's life. For some, you are the parent. For some, you're the grandparent. And for some, you are not the parent. So you plug it in how it resonates. I just heard sister. So, uh, for some, you're the parent, for some, you're not the parent, and for some, you're the grandparent, for some, you're the sister, sister of somebody, um, whoever that resonates and applies to such. Um, it's a, in some situations, it's you are the parent, and for some, it's your earth sign child, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo child. For some situations, you're not the parent. So, you're having a great awakening about your child is what I'm feeling. For some, maybe you're going to go in parent mode, mama bear, mama dad mode. For some, uh, you could be having a great awakening about your grandchild, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, grandchild, or a situation regarding your Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, grandchild, or a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, grandchild. Because I heard for some, you're a sister, so you're a sister of somebody. Um, however that resonates, it applies, okay? But I feel in pr protective mode here, uh, whether you're the parent, grandparent, a sister of somebody, or... 
however that resonates about a child, an earth sign child, whether it's your child, your grandchild, somebody else's child, or you are a sister of somebody, regarding a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo child. Protective parent mode, mama bear, mama dad, grandparent mode is what I'm feeling here. And that could be the Great Awakening, which is going to cause universal change energy, or it already has caused universal change energy. How that resonates and applies. Cosmic Egg, and this card for me is universal change energy. Universe, the wheel spinning. Regardless of whether people want it to or not, the universe is spinning. It's changing. For some, the child is 10 and below. For some, they are a teenager. For some, the child is 10 and below, and for some, they're a teenager. So for some, this Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo child is 10 and below. So 10 years old or below, and for some, they are a teenager. So 12 to 19 is what I'm feeling. You plug it in how it resonates. Sagittarius. There's about to be a very significant custody change soon. For one, you expected this. For one, you did not. CPS involvement is about to become significant in one of these situations. One, they are not. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So a significant custody change here soon. Um... One, you are expecting this custody change, so I feel that could be custody battle energy or some other kind of, maybe it's um, it's either custody battle change or like a CPS involvement or police involvement or something is what I'm feeling with the custody change that you did expect. Um, and for one, it's custody change you didn't expect, which would be, in my opinion, the same thing. Child protective service involvement, police involvement, or a custody battle. Whether you expected it or didn't expect it. It's going to cause universal change energy. For one of these, I heard you did expect this to happen. The custody change to happen. For one, you don't expect it. And for one of one of these situations or one situation out in the universe, how that resonates, CPS is going to get involved. That could be a great awakening for one of you guys, possibly. Whether a CPS is going to get involved in your situation or somebody else's situation or a situation involving an earth sign child. 10 or below, or a teenager or sign child, 12 to 19. Uh, or 12 to 17 is what I'm presuming. 12 to 17, because once they're 18, they're an adult. So you plug it in how it resonates, um, Sagittarius. It's going to cause universal change energy, or it already has caused universal change energy. How that resonates and applies, I feel for some, I heard for some, these custody uh, changes soon, upcoming, you're not going to expect them. I think you're going to sit back and reflect maybe for some this could be shock energy um <clears throat> how that resonates and applies sit back and like in awe and shock because you're not going to expect some of these situations for some you do for some if you do expect it maybe you're going to sit back and chillax because it's going to go good for you or somebody you're connected to for some you can sit back and shock if it's shocking but it's some kind of stillness energy i feel sitting back and like either in shock or relief or however that resonates and applies, okay? A child is about to shock you and tell you they do not want to play sports anymore. It's going to shock you. You are heavy into sports. Okay. If this resonates and applies for you, you are heavy into sports side. So I think with your child or children or your grandchild or children or with somebody, some child or children, um, how that resonates. Maybe for some you're a coach. Maybe for some you're a assistant coach. Maybe for some you're an auxiliary coach. Uh, how that resonates and applies. But I heard a child, so I think a minor energy, 17 or below. Um, I heard a child is about to tell you they do not want to play sports anymore. I heard it's going to shock you. So I think you're going to be in shock and awe, and you're going to sit back and be like, because you're not going to expect it. 
stillness energy, shock and awe. Whether it's your child, somebody you're connected to's child, your grandchild, somebody else's grandchild, maybe your coach, maybe your assistant coach, maybe your auxiliary coach, all of that resonates. Universal change, the child does not want to play sports anymore. And I heard sports, so I mean, it's, I don't think it's a specific sport. I think it's sports. And whoever you are, I heard you're very heavy into sports. So whether, like I said, whether you're a coach, an assistant coach, auxiliary coach, or you are one of those parent, um, parent, um, helicopter parent, sports parents. Trust me, I did sports many years. My parents, I'm not with my parents, sorry, my kids. There's helicopter sports parents, and that's just the truth. Now, you have to plug yourself in wherever you fit if you do, okay? But it's going to cause universal change energy because um, the child don't want to play. And I heard sports up. Now, hopefully there's not underlying issues here. Hopefully there's not abuse here because we've had a lot of child abuse. I've been pulling in a lot of child abuse in here recently, a lot. So hopefully somebody can get down to why they don't want to play sports and they're not being abused. And that's why they don't want to play because they're humiliated. But... I don't know. Only you guys know these children, grandchildren, minor energies, and why they don't want to play sports. Hopefully, they're not being abused. I did not hear that they were, but hope to God they're not. But however that resonates, it's going to cause change. Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. A Sagittarius' intuition is about to spike off the charts. Spike off the charts. You're about to get heavy intuitive signs in your universe. Heavy intuitive signs. Your intuition is about to be at an all-time high. About to notice things in your universe you did not notice before. For one, it's going to benefit you and you're going to be able to make changes before. For one, it's going to be too late. The tower is about to fall. You plug it in how it resonates. So your intuition is about to spike and that could be the universal, awake, I'm sorry, the great awakening energy too with the universal change. Um, something's going on. I mean, something's going on or is about to go on in your universe. If this resonates, it applies for you where... Um, uh, you're about to get heavy, like, something is about to happen in your universe, Sagittarius. You're going to, your intuition is going to be all-time high. So, something that's happening around you, certain little things, big things, everything is about to just peak at all-time high. You're about to notice it, basically. You're about to notice the little things, the big things, everything. For one of you guys, I heard basically... It's about to benefit you in a huge way. You're going to be able to make the changes and like no tower moment, no um, negative things, it sounds like, which is going to cause universal change. You'll be able to fix it before bad shit starts happening or awkward things starts happening or things you don't want happen to happen uh, is what I'm feeling on situation one. For situation two, your intuition is about to be at all-time high. You're about to notice little things, the big things, everything. But I heard it's going to be too late. The power, negative powers are is going to fall anyways. So it sounds like it might be too late on situation two. But situation one, you're going to be able to, sounds like, amend or fix something before negative towers fall. Situation two, it sounds like it's already too late. Negative towers are going to fall anyways. So use your intuition to make beneficial changes. That's the, you picking up the little things, the big things, everything in your universe to either be able to fix it before something bad happens or it's already too late. However, that resonates and applies. For some, I really strongly feel your parents. We're picking up mama, dad, mama bear mode, very strong in here. And children, very strong in here.
A Sagittarius is about to start realizing that a Gemini is not getting invited to, to things like they used to be invited. The Lodge and a Country Club. Okay, uh, I'm assuming it goes with this. That's all I heard. So, um, at least for two of you guys, you're connected to a Gemini in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, however you're connected to this Gemini, it could be masculine or feminine Gemini, but heavy Gemini energy. Um, they could have Gemini in any aspects of their charts, man or woman Gemini, okay? And ho however you're connected to this Gemini. But I heard you're about to start noticing, so you're about to use your intuition to notice beneficial changes. I mean, I'm sorry, you're about to use your intuition for these changes in the universe. That a Gemini, whoever this Gemini is, I heard you're about to start noticing they're not getting invited to a lodge or a country club like they used to. Now, for some of these Geminis, they could have connections to the lodge and the country club. For some, it could be one of these. But... I think that's, so for some, that's what's about to peak your intuition, too. It's universal change. However this Gemini is connected to you. I heard a lodge and a country club. <clears throat> so for some, they could have been going to the lodge and country club, both of them, for one of Geminis. For some of the Geminis, they could have been going to the lodge or the country club, one of them. But how that resonates... You're about to start noticing they're not getting invited to the lodge or the country club anymore. That resonates and applies, whoever this Gemini is and however they resonate in your life. But intuitive spikes, you're no, about to start noticing, or some already has noticed that, I feel for a lot of you guys it's upcoming, um, that the Gemini um, is not being invited to the lodge or the country club anymore. If that resonates and applies, intuitive spikes, universal change, whoever this Gemini is. For some, it's your brother. For some, it's your ex-brother-in-law. For some, it's your ex-son-in-law. For some, it's your brother. So this Gemini. For some, it's your brother. For some, it's your ex-son-in-law. For some, it's your ex-brother-in-law. So you plug it in how it resonates uh, Sag. So for some of you Sagittarius, this Gemini is your brother. So your brother, biological or foster. You plug it in how it resonates. For some, your ex-brother-in-law. For some, your ex-son-in-law. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. A fire sign husband. Is about he says he's at work. But you're about to realize he hasn't been at work. For some it's a cheating situation, for some it's not. Oh my god. Okay. So, for some of you guys, you have a fire sign husband, Aries Leo, Sagittarius husband. They could have Aries Leo or Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Femin, Hammer, Jupiter charts, if this resonates for you. But for some, you have a fire sign husband, Aries Leo, Sag husband. But I heard basically, um, there's two situations here. For one of you guys, both of them, they're saying they're working late or at work, and they're not. For one, I heard it is a cheating situation. That could be the intuitive chain, um, spikes, possibly. For some. For some, I heard it's not a cheating situation. But in both of these situations, they're claiming they're at work and they're not. So whether they're cheating with somebody else or 
they are doing something else and they are not telling you what they're doing because they're claiming they're at work. Change. Um, I feel for some, you. I mean, for some, I wonder if you're going to get a private investigator out on their ass or you have got a private investigator out on their ass and maybe that's how you're going to find it out. You plug it in how it resonates, but it's a fire sign husband. Aries Leo Sagittarius husband, if this resonates and applies for you. And basically, um, whether you're finding out from a private investigator, a friend, yourself, or some other way you find it out. Some you're about to find out your fire sign husband has been, he's been claiming he's been at work and he hasn't been, whether he's been cheating or not cheating. How that resonates and applies. Fair man, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Someone's sister, not your sister, is trying to get their sister put in jail. But she is not a criminal, and she never has been. And through many series of chain events, it's about to backfire on this sister that's trying to intentionally get the sister that's not a criminal put in jail. This person is about to make it very integral and backfiring on her. You are about to be shocked when this happens. For some, you want this to happen. For some, you don't. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Man, that's some sick shit, man. Okay, so dueling sibling rivalry, um, I guess, or just a spiteful malicious sister to another spiteful malicious sister. How that resonates and applies, but... Um, it's a malicious, mean, spiteful sister. I heard that it's intentionally trying to get another sister put in jail, Sag. So whoever these two sisters are to you and how do they apply in your life, okay? Heard it's not your sister, so this is not, it, you are on the outside looking in on this. Now, however you're connected in on this, you plug it in how it resonates, but it's two sisters and you're not in this. Uh, I think you're outside looking in, how that resonates, but it's two sisters, one mean, cold, mean, malicious, behind the scenes, acts in the dark energy sister is strategically trying to, behind the scenes, put another sister, I heard she's not a criminal and she's never been, in jail. Um, she has been in jail before and she did not deserve to go. And this person knows it and they're going to make it backfire. Okay, this it's this person. So this person, this sister that has never been a criminal but has been in jail before um probably because of this person or somebody else um i heard this person has never been a criminal never has never has been but they have been in, put in jail before probably this person because they're trying to put this person in jail again so i'm sure this person has something to do with it um i heard this person is about to make it backfire on this person I heard this person knows that this sister doesn't deserve to be in jail. And it sounds like she didn't deserve to be in jail the other time. Um, and this person's going to make it backfire on this sister. This time. This time is what I heard. This time. So it sounds like this person didn't make it backfire on this sister in the past. But this upcoming time, they're going to. I heard you're going to be shocked. So however you plug into these two sisters and however that resonates, Sag, stillness, shock. Shock and all energy, you're going to be like. However, this person makes it backfire on this person, okay? Uh, dealings a relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. He's pulling up his fair man energy. I heard he did not, he didn't, it sounds like he didn't intervene or stop it or make it backfire in the past, but this time he's going to. I feel he could have blonde, gray, or white hair. And in this aspect, he really is a fair man. He really is going to, it's not like he's going to help balance the scales. I think this sister had something to do with this sister being put in jail before. I heard this person has never been a criminal. She basically didn't deserve to be put in jail the first time, but she was. But this part, this sister is trying to make her get put in jail this time for strategic reasons. Probably because she had a hand in it in the past. She most certainly did. 
And it's about to seriously backfire. Okay, I heard she most certainly did. So she did. That's confirmation for a spiritual realm. She most certainly did have a hand in putting this person in jail in the past. But I heard she didn't deserve it. And this time it's going to backfire. But this person's going to make it backfire. I feel this can be a masculine energy or a fin that takes on heavy masculine with blonde, gray, or white hair. I heard you, Sag, however you fit into this, you're going to be shocked. So you don't expect this to happen. I think maybe you expect this person be put in jail again because maybe for some I feel you know how mean spiteful and malicious this sister is to this other sister is what I feel uh, but you plug it in how it resonates okay that sounds like bullying harassing and targeting and gang stalking behind the scenes if you ask me but I think this person is highly intuitive and they know this I feel this could be a masculine energy or a fin that takes on heavy masculine. And I feel they have blonde, gray, or white hair. That's going to cause universal change energy. And also, too, I feel he is going to be a protector to her. I heard he didn't stand up in the past, but he's about to this time. So, you know, this is mama bear, mama dad mode, but... Bears are also very protective. They're very protective. Um, so I feel he is going to be a protector to her. Now, whoever this person is to this sister, this could be a husband. This could be a spouse. Oh, a spouse, a husband, um, a wife. It could be a, um, a um, significant other. It could be a neighbor. It could be the police or or an investigator or um, feds or whoever, whoever, okay? However that resonates and applies. But I feel definite protection energy here with the bear energy. For some, you are the mother of these sisters. For some, you are a cousin of these sisters. For some, you are ex-in-law of these sisters. For some, you are ex-coach related to one of these sisters. Okay, for some, you are a mother of one of these sisters. These sisters are coming in very heavy. For some, you are a um, mother of one of these sisters, so a foster mother or a biological mother, you plug yourself in where you fit, or a, somebody that claims, you know, calls somebody mother, how that resonates. For some, you are a cousin of one of these of these sisters. For some, you are a, a former coach related to one of these sisters. Um, and there was another one? Um, you can go back and check for them all. How that resonates, however, you're related to these. Oh, for some, you're ex in law. For some, you're ex in law of one of these sisters. So you plug yourself in where you fit, Sagittarius. Only you know how you are connected to these sisters, not anybody else. For some, you're ex co worker. For some, you're ex co worker of one, one of these sisters. So whether you um, are connected to both sisters or one of these sisters, however, that resonates and applies the dark sister or the light sister. Okay? And I'm not talking about skin color. I'm talking about energy. Yeah. For one, this is an a very significant assistant coach on one of your ball teams. For one, you are a ball parent. For one, you are the head coach. This assistant coach is about to become very significant in your life. Okay, assistant coach energy. So in this aspect, this person is an assistant coach. Whether you are the head coach or you are a parent, ball parent, like a, I think a parent of child or children on one of these teams. Um, assistant coach energy, whether you were the head coach or a ball parent on, on, on a ball team, 
the assistant coach is about to become very significant in your life in this aspect. This is the assistant coach. I think it's a masculine energy or a fin that takes on heavy masculine. And I think they have blonde, gray, or white hair. If that resonates, it applies. Sag, I feel this person could be a positive or negative influence in your life. Only you know who this assistant coach is and how they resonate to you. For some, you are the head coach, masculine or feminine. Sag, for some, you are a ball parent of a child or children. Um, connected to this assistant coach um like i said i feel this can go positive or negative but you have used your intuition to make beneficial changes so somehow this assistant coach is significant in your life um for some i feel um you need to make changes with this assistant coach whether you are the head coach or the um um ball parent for one you're having an affair with this assistant coach and it's about to come very public and you're about to be humiliated Oh, wow. Holy shit of holy. Whoa, we're getting juicy. Okay, Sag. Whether you're a ball parent or you are a head coach, you're having an affair with the assistant coach, for one. And I heard it's about to be exposed and it's about to go very public and you're about to be publicly humiliated. So that could be the, in, use your intuition to make beneficial changes when um, your affair with this assistant coach, whether you are a ball parent or you're the head coach, it's about to be very publicly displayed out in public and you're going to be publicly humiliated whether you were the head coach or a ball parent having the affair with the assistant coach i felt he was um significant in here for a reason holy crap use your intuition make beneficial changes well affair energy but of course you have free will to keep having an affair with him after it gets publicly displayed or not but i'm sure once it gets publicly displayed it's not going to be as fun once everybody knows oh my god universal change holy crap man stillness this affair being exposed very publicly is about to create some huge changes huge changes some forced changes some you're going to like these changes some you're not oh my god okay so this this affair with this assistant coach is about to cause some huge changes. Some you are the head coach. Some you are a parent of the um, uh, of a child or children on the ball team. One of you guys is having an affair with him. Whether you're the head coach or a parent. Somebody's having an affair. But once the affair gets exposed really publicly, Sagittarius, whether you're the one, uh, whether you're one having an affair or not with him or her, this person with, I'm feeling, has blonde, gray, or white hair, um, I heard there's going to be forced changes here. Forced changes. I feel like policy changes or kids coming off of ball teams or coaches being removed off of ball teams or ball teams being rearranged around. Um, it's a kid's ball team if this resonates. But um, I heard for some, you're going to like the changes. So for some, I feel you could help make the changes. For some, you're not going to like them. So I think the one not going to like them, I think you were the one having an affair with him, um, him or her that takes on masculine energy how that resonates it applies sagittarius holy crap man whoa stillness and i heard a fair so i think either this masculine energy or finn that takes on heavy masculine assistant coach i think they're married or i think you're married or you're both married somebody's married in this mix sagittarius you plug it in how it resonates stillness A Sagittarius is about to catch someone at a rec, rec ball uh, at a rec league center doing drugs in a parking lot. They're not going to want to call it in to local sheriffs, but they know they need to because there's going to be too many people around. And you're right, you need to because if you don't, you'll be pulled into it. Oh, my God. Okay, Sagittarius. We've got heavy kids in here. Heavy kids, heavy ball team energy, heavy parent energy, heavy. Um, fall sports, apparently, because we're uh, October of 2022. I remember the fall sports times. I loved it with my kids, and that's just the truth. Uh, but somebody's into heavy fall sports with kids and coaches and um, 
apparently assistant coach affairs and all kinds of crap. But how did that resonate? One of you guys, okay, so you you visit a rec team, a rec league center. So some kind of rec league center. So recreational league, not travel. Recreational league. Um, where everybody can play kind of energy. And, um, oh man, this is some shit. One of you guys is about to run into somebody in the parking lot about doing drugs. Doing drugs. Now, I didn't hear what kind of drugs they are. I don't know if they're pill-popping, shooting up meds, heroin, whatever the hell they're doing. I don't know. Smoking some weed. I don't know. But they're doing some kind of drugs, man. I'll tell you that. It hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming. I heard you're not going to want to call the sheriffs. But there will be way too many people around. And I heard if you don't, you will end up actually getting pulled into it. So, meaning, if you don't end up calling the sheriffs, because I heard you know you need to, and I heard you're right, because if you don't, other people are basically going to call this person. They're going to be in their vehicle. They're going to be in their vehicle. Yeah, it hasn't happened yet. They're going to be in their vehicle do some kind of drugs. So, basically, the spiritual download in this is, is I heard you're not going to want to call the sheriffs. And I heard sheriff, I didn't hear city police, so I think you might live out in the county somewhere. If this resonates for you, wherever you live. I don't think you live in city limits. I think you live in county. Um, and I'm just being for real. But how this resonates, one, it hasn't happened yet. And two, I heard if you don't call, somebody else is going to call and they're going to drag you into it as like some kind of accomplice energy, meaning you didn't call the sheriffs, the police, I'm assuming sheriffs, wherever jurisdiction you're in, are sheriffs. Um, meaning. It's going to be smart to call the sheriffs because if you don't and you miss the opportunity and you don't call on this person that's doing drugs in their vehicle or people doing drugs in their vehicle, somebody else, there's going to be so many people around when somebody else comes around and sees them doing drugs in the vehicle, they're going to call and they're going to report that you didn't say that they did drugs, like a accomplice energy. Um, so, of course, you have the free will to keep walking by. Are these people or person doing drugs? But it sounds like the spiritual download in this is it'd be smart to do it. Because if you don't, there's going to be so many people around. When somebody else walks by, they're going to do it. And then they're going to out your ass. Of course, you could take the spiritual download or leave it, Sagittarius. It is a rec league center in some kind of county situation regarding sheriffs. I didn't hear city police. Universal change. It hasn't happened yet. Think you're going to be shocked? I heard you're not going to want to call the sheriffs, but you know it's going to be smart to do it. And I heard if you don't, somebody else is going to. And it sounds like there's going to be many people around. Maybe this is the sheriff that shows up, possibly, to arrest their ass. Your intuition to make changes, i.e. calling the sheriff and not letting it slip by. Because it sounds like if you let it slip by, you're going to be an accomplice in this shit. For some, you could be a parent or child or children or grandparent or child or children or someone coming to visit child or children at a rec league center because rec league centers are for adults too. Yeah, but kids play rec league sports there. Trust me, my kids played le uh, many years of kid uh, rec league sports. Many years. Holy crap. An Aquarius is about to realize you have been lying to them for a long time and they're about to take some huge action. Huge action. Know this. Okay, I heard an Aquarius has been, uh, is about to realize you've been lying to them for a long time, a long time. And they're about to take some huge action. Whoever this Aquarius is and how they resonate in your life, Sagittarius. For one, they are a lawyer. For one, they are city police. For one, they are a sheriff. For one, oh, excuse me. One, they are a private investigator. What the dear God? Okay, I lost it. Let me see if I hear anything else. So for one, okay, so one, they're a lawyer. One, they're city police. One, they're a sheriff. One, they're a private investigator. Um, one, they're a lawyer.
One, they live in your county. One, they are one, they are ahead of a rec center. And one, they live in your county. So I think you live out in the country, if this resonates. And one, they are ahead of a rec center. So rec, rec, recreational league sports center or recreational center in some shape, form, or fashion. That's a lot of Aquariuses. You have to plug the Aquariuses in, how they resonate. Uh, one, they are your boss. And one, they are your boss. And one, they are your boss, Sagittarius. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, I feel this person could have blonde, gray, or white hair. But I heard they're about to realize you've been lying to them for a long time. A long time. And I think they're about to make um, intuitive changes here. They're about to make some huge ass changes. You're not going to like this. And they're about to do it quick. Okay, I heard they're about to make some huge ass changes and you're not going to like this and they're about to do it quick. So this Aquarius, masculine or feminine Aquarius, I feel it's a masculine Aquarius for a lot of these Aquariuses. For some, they could be femme that takes on heavy masculine. They're about to make some huge ass changes. I heard you're not going to like them. So um, whether it's your boss, a sheriff, a city police officer, uh, a, de a private eye detective or, um, or a lawyer. However that resonates and applies, okay? Universal change. I think you're going to be shocked. This Aquarius. We're pulling this Aquarius energy in very strong. Whoever this person is and how they apply. Okay, Sage? A married Sagittarius masculine is about to find out his wife is pregnant. A married Sagittarius masculine is about to find out your wife is pregnant. So congratulations, sir. Uh, if you guys have been trying for a child. Uh, to my knowledge, everybody's got to keep it these days because Roe versus Wade has been overturned. So to my knowledge, everybody's got to keep it, but I heard you're married. So sounds like you guys are, have been trying possibly, or it doesn't sound like if you, you know, if she gets pregnant, cool. If not, no. I mean, I don't know. Only you know your situation story to anybody else. But I heard you're married, Sagittarius masculine. You're about to find out your wife is pregnant. So preg baby bump. Um, impending mama bear mode, universal change energy. I think it's going to shock you, stillness, shock energy. You're a married Sagittarius masculine, if that resonates for you, sir. It is about to cause a huge wake up call in you, a huge wake up call. You're about to start fighting for a family you never thought you would fight for in the past. Okay, so married Sagittarius masculine, once you find out your wife is pregnant, I heard um, it's going to cause a huge change in you. So like a wake-up call energy, and I heard you're going to start fighting for a family in the past. You um, don't sound like you fought for them. You either didn't fight for them in the past, or you didn't fight very hard for them in the past. I heard you're going to start fighting for them very hard once you find out your married wife is pregnant. So married wife, impending mama bear mode, universal change. A daddy mode um, for the pregnant fetus and fighting for our family out in the universe you either didn't fight for in the past or didn't fight very hard for in the past. How that resonates and applies married Sagittarius masculine. Okay? I love you guys. I hope this helped and namaste.